hello loves welcome back to my channel today's video is such an exciting one i've been waiting for so 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 long to actually film this video just because like i had to wait for all these stuff to come in obviously i went a little bit crazy on the tiktok shop and bought so many makeup bundle scoops um and yeah so i decided to do a full face makeup for you guys and see if these makeup is actually worth the money because obviously 34 or 39 dollars for just a makeup scoop you get so much for that amount of money that i actually want to know if it's actually good quality for the money to be spent for so let's try out some makeup today i actually went pretty crazy um this is just one bag of the makeup scoop that i received um some of the makeup that i've used i've chosen out of this bag already and then i have so many more that i have put aside for a giveaway that i will be posting in the next few weeks so stay tuned for that and um yeah let's just dive right into all the makeup that i have got from all these makeup scoops okay i think i'm gonna use my daughter's uh headband so my makeup won't go on my hair so in the makeup scoop i got this one from kevin and coco it's their three color eyebrow dyeing cream and it's their one called cheese i believe this is probably just like a pomade i hope it doesn't actually dye my brows if it does, then I <laughs> would not know what I'm going to do because I love the color of my hair right now for my brows. I'm not interested in really any other color at the moment. So here is the three shades. I think I have to stick with the darkest one because it's not really that, that dark of a color. I'm gonna use this one because I have pretty much dark hair. Just wanted to share my brushes um they're super cute and i just wanted to also share how cute this cup is that i put my brushes in got this from my sister okay so it does need a little bit more on the brush before it could spread so the product is a little bit more greasy than it normally is for a pomade um, and it doesn't really give off a lot of color i have to keep going back to the product in order to actually build and darken my brows with it it probably looks really good on the camera but if you look in real life it doesn't look that good so i feel like i'm going to add some eyebrow powder to cover up these patches so i'm going to use the one they gave me in the scoop it's called the lasting makeup modeling eyebrow powder um i don't know what brand is because it's in chinese so it finally shows and it's called the mac andy eyebrow powder I'm probably going to use the middle one to fill in my brows That looks a lot better. That patchy area is now gone. So to conceal my brows, I'm going to be using the Ladies Repair and Refine Concealer. And it's this a cute little concealer. There's like a brush on top and then the concealer is just in here. I tested it out earlier to see if it's like a nice pigmentation and it is. So we're going to use this to clean the brows and also um, prime my uh, eyelids. I'm just going to prime my eyes with the same concealer. The concealer is so creamy and you don't even need a lot in order for it to actually spread onto the eyelids. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the MAC and the Eyeshadow Lasting Makeup Smooth Texture. Um, this is in the color one. It's called Sweet Cool Milk Coffee 
um, palette. It's such a really nice packaging. The quality is really good. And it feels almost like drugstore to sometimes high-end makeup. So look at these beautiful colors. I love how they're neutral. I love that pink shade. I feel like I might be adding some of this pink shimmering shade onto the eyelids. Okay, so I need to transition shades. So I'm going to be using this one right here. absolutely very soft like the packaging it wasn't lying it's a nice soft color with a little pink undertone to it this will also help set the concealer in place so it doesn't crease all right i'm going to move on to this one here it's also actually blending really nicely so I'm not going to complain, it's not patchy or anything. I'm going to try the darkest shade here to see if it actually pops out any color. Pretty. I just kind of want to pop out this eyeshadow look a little bit. I'm going to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow with a transition shade from the palette that I just used earlier just to soften out the edges. It's a little bit too harsh at the moment. And then I'm gonna cut my crease using this same concealer. So now that I've finished cutting my crease, I am going to be using the pink shimmer shade in this palette and put it right in the areas where I have just created that crease. Wow, it's so shiny and pretty. So it's actually not popping to my liking. So I don't know if I actually want to use the other gold one. I might try a liquid um, glitter shadow. Um, but since I already applied this, I might as well finish on this other side and then go ahead and do that. I did receive this It's Shine Eyeshadow Liquid by the brand Kiss Beauty. Oh, but the application is like a liner. So maybe I'll just create a, a glitter liner for right there and leave the eyeshadow that way. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we're gonna move on to liner and I just digged in my bag and there's this one from the makeup scoop. So I am going to be using this one for my eyeliner. Hopefully it works. Um, I think I just saw the tip fall back. There you go. Pulled it back out. I'm not trying to create a really big wing, just a little bit. I don't want the wing just being a little bit more down instead of going up because I realized that for my eye shape if I make the liner curve high it makes me look kind of weird and kind of just cuts with the small crease that I have it doesn't look that pretty so I'm just going to stick with the small liner so I actually did not get any mascara in the makeup scoops so I'm just going to use one of my own and then we can put on some lashes and then move on to the face products I'm just gonna stick to the Voluminous Lash Paradise by, I believe, L'Oreal. This is definitely my favorite drugstore mascara. So before I use the products they give me, I'm going to be using my moisturizer, Bernice Regina, and also the Estee Lauder Day Wear um, just for the uh, SPF because it is a really hot summer day today um, in Minnesota. So I'm not trying to, you know, break out my skin with any UVs and have this one damage my skin. So I'm going to doing my normal skincare routine before applying anything else. I love this Neutrogena moisturizer because it's super lightweight and it dries super fast. I don't like the 
types of creams that take forever to dry my skin it just feels really heavy and it bothers me so much especially if i'm using it during the night time when i'm gonna go to sleep it's like i don't know it bothers me i can't really turn and my pillow feels really sticky so i'm not really a fan of really thick creams let's apply the sunscreen cream on i love this one too even though it's so pricey um it does the job and it smells really nice it doesn't smell like a sunscreen you know it has a nice clean smell to it some creams that have spfs in it you can just smell the strong the very strong sunscreen scent and i hate that i really do it is so cute though it is the melundo claire and silky primer and um this is a my melody character i love how they added a sanrio character on there just to make the packaging look super cute i'm all about cute packaging i don't know what you guys but if the makeup has cute packaging i am literally sold <laughs> Let me add the primer onto my face. It's like a gel primer. I normally just apply like a cream primer, not really a gel primer. It feels more like a cleanser to me, but let's see. For foundation, I'm actually going to be using the Cushion Foundation by this brand i don't really know how to pronounce it it's quackly or cockley not sure but um look how pretty this packaging is i do not know what shade this foundation is but i'm hoping that this bb cream is actually my skin tone because i'm going out kind of nervous but here's the packaging and there it is. It also came with a refill. Okay, just looking at the product itself, it looks like it might be too, like, too light for my skin. But I'm just going to have hopes that it will, you know, oxidize. Just press some of it here. Oh, yeah. As you guys can see. I think in order to save this BB cream from making me look like a ghost, I might need to apply some contour and bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna use the same concealer for the under eyes. Going to blend it out with this little triangle sponge. And then for contour, I'm going to use a Sweet Cafe QT Contour Stick. This is a contour dual stick. So this side is like a highlighter side and then the other one is a contour. I don't really use contour sticks, but for this makeup, I guess I will. I got some right here. I guess I'll use this brush to blend out the... I'm gonna use a different blending brush. The other one that I had earlier was having some difficulties blending out this contour. It's nicely bronzing my face, so I think I might be able to save my makeup for today. So when using any cream contour products, I normally like to do circular motions in order for it to really blend in to the foundation and there's no more harsh lines. And then a small brush to blend out this contour. So I'm going to set my face. I'm going to be using this nice, beautiful makeup powder. It's in the shade number two. It's Easy Makeup Silky Touch. Look at the packaging. It is so beautiful. And it's like those heavy type of product too. So, um, I feel like this is a very expensive drugstore makeup so this one actually has three shades a green a pink and a blue and then you just end up mixing the color and packing it onto the skin this area around my nose is cakey right now which now i'm a bit worried 
So I'm gonna be using this one for blush, flower color blush, and the blush looked like that. So pigmented. Okay, I gotta be careful. Yeah. I think that was enough. One dip was enough for both sides of my face. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use this one. And it's also from AG and AG style or shade number two and it's a star it's like a glittery highlight so i'm just going to use a morphe setting mist to set my face did not get a setting mist from the makeup scoops For lashes, I'm just going to use this one. It's not from the Makeup Scoop. It's from Juvia's Place. It's the Nubian Lash Laria. Um, this is my favorite lash style from their brand. So I'm just going to use that and then we can move on to lips and so on. Okay, lashes are on. They look so pretty. I love it. So we're going back to complete the eyeshadow because I have to put it underneath my eyes. I cannot go out if there's nothing underneath my eyes. It just looks weird to me. I don't know. I'm just used to having eyeshadow underneath my eyelids, but um, let's do that first and then we can move on to the lips. I'm just going to add this color and blend it under here. And then for the inner corner, I will try this one. And then for the lips, um, I got this one from Kiss, Kiss Beauty. Um, it's the Superstay Matte Ink. Um, it's Love the Matte Color and Comfort All Day. Why do I feel like this is a replica or like a copy of like a Maybelline lipstick? I don't know, but this is in the shade three. I don't think I'm gonna cover my whole lip with this because the color is a bit dark. Um, so maybe I'm just gonna put it in the middle of my lip and then just slowly blend it outwards. It smells a bit fruity and then it smells a bit like chemicals and then it smells like a type of wear fragrance that I never smelled before. I'm just gonna use my own gloss here in the shade Rose Finch. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm probably not going to say it. Um, but if you guys are interested in the shade, please let me know and I could definitely leave it in the comments when you comment um, on the video. There you go, it's so glossy and pretty. And I love this gloss, it smells like fruits. Oh, I could like smell it all day. Okay guys, so this is the completed look of using TikTok makeup scoops um, makeup for a full face. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's actually really pretty and worth the uh, money? Um, for me, my honest opinion is some of the products are good and are worth the money because they actually pretty much beat some of the drugstore makeups here that do cost a lot of dollars. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely worth the money. Uh, though, do be aware that some of these like products do contain like chemicals or things that we do not um, allow in the United States. So basically, when you buy these products, you do also take in some risk. But I'm okay with it because the products are really pretty and I do love it. And some of them are like really nice quality makeup. It's not just like very cheap broken down quality makeup that is thrown out there so yeah i definitely love the makeup will i be purchasing again probably not because i went definitely crazy ordering all of the makeup scoops this time but i feel like i have so much makeup to keep that can last me for a long time that i actually do not need to purchase again but the makeup bundle scoops are really nice and I do like them. Some of them are really good products like this one that I love. Really good packaging. I love the blush. I love the highlighter and I loved the eyeshadow. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth it for $30 to $39.
if you enjoy these type of videos please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and comment down below it makes me feel good that someone is actually watching and commenting and actually letting me know that they enjoy these type of videos because i just don't want to be posting content out there that is not good and you guys actually don't enjoy it but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching and if you did watch to the end thank you i love you and i truly appreciate you watching all my videos to the end because i do work really hard on these videos from editing to using long hours to film so i extremely appreciate you and thank you for being here for me i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye